What is going on, Mintis? This is the Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, and today we're going to take an advanced look at Spider-Man, the many host of Carnage. So please stay tuned. Okay, now before I get started, I'd like to say a quick thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending me an advanced copy of this book. And here's a quick word from our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions, up to 50% off cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels is currently offering up to 80% off over 250 Marvel Omnibus editions, Marvel Masterworks, Deluxe Hardcovers, and more. The sale runs through Sunday, September 15th, while supplies last. Some of the deals this week include Captain America by Mark Wade, Ron Garney, and Andy Kubert Omnibus. The retail price is $125, but at 50% off, off, you'll only pay $62.50. Also on sale is Deadpool and Company Omnibus. The retail price is $125, but at 55% off, you'll be paying $56.25. You can find the sale by clicking on the banner on Cheap Graphic Novels' homepage or by clicking the link in the description below. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Now, a little bit of this material was in that Carnage Omnibus, and also some of it is in the Spider-Man vs. Venom Omnibus, but let's look at it. As you can probably tell, this is one of those really thick omnibuses. It is the size of an epic. As we like to call it, this is a non-epic epic book. As a matter of fact, here it is compared to the size of three standard size trade paperbacks from Marvel. And it's about the size of those. However, each one of these is $15.99 to $17.99. And the retail price of this book is $39.99. Like I said, an epic, non-epic book. This book is scheduled to come out September 11th at comic book stores and places like CheapGraphicNovels.com. And a couple of weeks afterwards at places like Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, now, what does this collect... And here is the table of contents. So we have Amazing Spider-Man 361, Amazing Spider-Man 410, Spider-Man 67, and Spectacular Spider-Man 233, Amazing Spider-Man 431, Carnage 3 and Carnage USA 1 through 5. I'm glad they kept the whole series there. Superior Carnage 3 through 5, Superior Carnage Annual 1, Amazing Spider-Man 798 to 799, and Amazing Spider-Man 800. But it looks like they also collected pages from Amazing Spider-Man 344 and 345, which is the first appearance of Cletus Cassidy. And we get a small glimpse of him, yeah, these pages right here, becoming Carnage. Yeah, right there. Now, we get the full first appearance of Carnage, one of my favorite issues of all time. Amazing Spider-Man 361, created by David Michelini and Mark Bagley. Absolutely love this introduction. It's one of my favorite Amazing Spider-Man issues. It's dark, it's sinister, and crap. They don't collect parts two and three. That's very interesting. Um, it's been collected before in trade paperbacks. It's been collected in that omnibus, the Spider-Man vs. Venom. But for some reason, they left out the rest of the issues. I get it. What they're doing right now because of the popularity of Carnage and Cletus Cassidy is they are going through each and every host that Carnage has taken over, including Ben Riley when Ben Riley was playing the role of Spider-Man. Um, and let's see what else we have here. Yeah, actually, this is during the Clone Saga, so they kept most of that stuff here. One of my favorite covers, though, right there. Man, look at those colors. Look at those freaking colors. Oh, geez. I hope when they do a Ben Riley Omnibus Volume 2 that we use that as the cover. Um, but as you can tell, this collects Web of Carnage 2, 3, and 4, not Part 1. Because, like I said, they're just going through the stories where Carnage is going through different hosts. There's some artwork by Sal Buscema. David Michelini is still on the writing duties here. Yeah, let's keep going a little more through here till we get to the modern age. Here's this gorgeous artwork by Clayton Crane. And this was the story that was written by Zeb Wells. It is the Carnage limited series. Man, absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what this guy's doing. I heard, I think one of my viewers told me he's over at Valiant these days, but... Ah, I really miss him doing Marvel books. He was a big part of that X-Force run. And this Carnage Omnibus that I got. This is this is collected in that Carnage Omnibus that I showed earlier. 
Let's look a little more through here. And then we jump to Superior Spider-Man 3. Now they give you a, a little bit of a blurb up here as to what's happened. I'm sorry, Superior Carnage 3. As to what's happened before these issues. Uh, here's stuff from Amazing Spider-Man 798 through 800. And of course, this is the Red Goblin saga. This is actually a badass saga. I really enjoyed it. It's Dan Slott's final arc on Amazing Spider-Man. And without giving it anything away, unless you've read Absolute Carnage, you know who one of his, two of his hosts are at the end here. Um, let's look a little more through here. I really think this book is for people that don't know the character of Carnage and want to be introduced to the character. And kind of, this is a really quick way to update you on who Carnage has taken over in the last few years. That way, when you're reading Absolute Carnage, you're like, oh, that's so-and-so. Okay, that makes sense why he's going after that guy. Uh, we reviewed issue one, so you kind of know a little bit of the premise as to what's going on in Absolute Carnage. I freaking love that storyline. Um, but this, you know, I, I think it's not... Oh, okay, here's here's some more extras here. Good. I'm glad they kept those. Um... But I don't think this is for people that already are collecting Spider-Man and collected editions. I think this is more for newcomers. Because people that are already collecting Spider-Man and collected editions know that this is all over the place and it's just character-centric. Um, and it doesn't even finish out, like I said, my favorite uh, introduction to his, the character. But I guess it, it would have been over 600 pages if they had done all that. And that was the contents of the book. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on picking up the book or if you plan on passing on it. Like I said, I think it's a pretty good starting off point for people that don't know anything about Carnage. But there are other books out there. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, Cheap Graphic Novels. Awesome sale that's going on right now with their Marvel books like Omnibuses, Marvel Masterworks, and Oversized Hardcovers. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.